Yeah, good day guys. My name is James Fawcett. I'm a seven figure uh, product creator and affiliate marketer and I'm coming at you today with basically the four key truths about affiliate marketing space and, and why that market can suck. If you'd like to go ahead and basically click subscribe below if you like my content, if you want to click that bell as well, you'll be able to tap into a bunch of my videos coming up and be able to talk about different key strategies and ways to be able to boost your online sales with product creation as well as being able to using that product creation segment to boost affiliate referral sales as well. When we talk about the four key truths about the affiliate marketing space, we're talking about why people struggle to get off the ground in affiliate marketing. Now, I've been very luckily very successful with affiliate marketing for the past two and a half years. Before that, I struggled for around about nearly probably uh, four to five years. And I really pulled, you know, struggled. I really, I spent a lot of money on the gurus and, and all the one touch apps and, you know, push button apps and all that sort of stuff. But what I found is that the reason why people fail is because they're targeting the wrong audience. And two, you're selling a product that really isn't yours. Talking about promoting other people's products. Yes, you really need to focus on the benefit and the features of it as well as the outcome. On top of that, there really, there's still a bit of a disconnect and it's really is that you have to get the effort of being able to bring people in, but basically getting buy-in in what you've got going on. Now, I've come across with a model which isn't new, but it's been very effective for me, especially when basically becoming a product creator. I wanna go through the, what, why it's so difficult with affiliate marketing for many people that started out. And then on top of that, I'm gonna really focus on how you guys can build more authority, more trust, and when you're trying to make more sales, essentially. So the first point here is basically newbies, right? A lot of people attract newbies to the market, and generally, when you're newbies, they're very much uninformed. So there, it takes a lot more time to basically build the trust and authority with those newbies because they're effectively skeptical straight away. They're not familiar with affiliate marketing and they don't know how to, you know, obviously go about it. Well, what's the mechanisms? What's, what's in place? And you literally need to show them the, the way on how to do that. Now, like I said, secondly, on top of that, it's hard to build trust with something where the product isn't even yours. Effectively, the first thing people think about is like, I'm just a random, just trying to sell you this product. So obviously there's a disconnect. What that means is basically, you know, when they have the disconnect, it's a lot harder to generate that sale. And I've experienced that a number of times and I was able to crack the code on it, whether it's building a list, an email list, and, you know, doing a follow-up sequences using the email list. Basically, really struggling to find, you know, that messaging that connects the dots between what you're trying to promote that basically isn't yours your product and to making them generate a purchase, right? To get that sale. On top of that, you've got the bottom feeders. Now, the bottom feeders are generally those look for anything free and you, a lot of people come across this and they feel entitled that they don't have to spend money to make money. And this is just a classic mindset. It takes a little bit of time to configure that mindset with people and before it actually clicks like that. But what that means is that generally what that is, is that it's just people that are entitled, entitled to free stuff, they won't buy anything, and basically just waste your time, all right? And you can basically, if you want to, like for example, run a sequence to build that, but it can take time. We basically follow a solution that uh, gets people in to buy straight away, and without obviously having that disconnect in between. All right, so the fourth thing, is literally having high volume traffic and obviously you need to weed out the best customers in that like the best customer avatar that really will go along and you know basically pull the trigger or pull out their credit card I should say to make the purchase and sometimes it takes a lot of traffic and filtering in order to do that some of the solutions are basically you know one, which is I fully recommend this to people because what this means is that you have full authority, control, and you know, be able to resonate and have a little bit more, you know, know-how behind the scenes, especially when you like creating your own offer, either whether it's a free offer 
or a paid offer, it doesn't really, you know, it, ma it does matter in a way. Free, obviously, you know, you can have free and then you can have upsells on the back end or you can just have an upfront paid offer, which is what I prefer because when people pay, um, and I learned this very much just recently in the last couple of years, is that when people pay, they pay attention to what they've actually purchased. And free, actually, you know, people have no accountability because it's free, right? Like, they've just, they've got no fiscal accountability, period, when it comes to this. Now, on top of that, when you create your own products, you can obviously build continuity into those products as well. And we have a model that really does allow you to build to do that. One, people are paying to get new products. And two, you can build continuity inside of that to basically build recurring income month after month. Basically, you know, you don't have to start from zero every single day. Um, if you're not, for example, promoting a recurring offer you're, and you're only doing a one-time purchase, promoting a one-time purchase offer where they just pay once, that means that, you know, that you have to start from ground zero each morning. And uh, in all honesty, it's sometimes when you build continuity, it takes a little bit more work and finding that customer, but once you find that right customer avatar and to willing to obviously in, invest in like a recurring uh, billable program, it really does make a huge change. And on top of that, their mindset changes as well. Rather than just a one and done, they know that they've got to work towards the next program, that work towards basically building that recurring income so they can cover that recurring billing pr process, right? when they're trying to carry out a certain method that you are showing them inside a product. Now, on top of that, I do love affiliate marketing and finding traffic is a lot of fun, right? So generally what we recommend people doing is tapping into pre-existing buyers. Now, we have a mechanism in place where um, you can build um, your own affiliate base and have basically have people come promote your offer and you reap the benefit of being rewarded for other people's efforts. We have a mechanism in place where you can literally tap into pre-existing buyers and once you tap into that, that's recurring income day after day after day. And right now, as you can see here, and I'll show you some of this recurring, um, re in like this income based on this. So this is obviously as an affiliate marketer since 2020, February 2020, I've generated $1.9 million in affiliate sales. On top of that, um, if you just jump over to here really quickly, here yeah, I've done just alone, just from past products that I've created, I've generated $3,400 this week alone in the last seven days. That's getting close to $12,000 in money or um, profits where other people have sold my product and I didn't have to do anything about it. It all came from their effort. When you tap into that, it becomes an extremely, like an extremely powerful mechanism and process that you'll be able to really leverage and be able to, you know, basically shorten the learning curve period, all right? Shorten the heartache of, you know, finding those traffic sources or being able to, you know, work six or, you know, 12 months to build that traffic source. You know, I've been able to do this since I started launching products over two years ago. I love affiliate marketing, I do love it. You know, it is, when it gets to the point and you've learned the skill set, it's easy money. It really is. Once you build that automation and that those sequences and everything, it does become very easy. However, I love having control over my own content. So I like to build authority through creating great content, building awesome, you know, a long-term game as well. And also when you add have assets, that lets people know that you're in it for the long run. I only promote products that have become evergreen or they really do leverage, you know, have a, an evergreen process to them. You know, even if you did, for example, like a really bad thing, crypto products or affiliate products, they die so quickly within a few months because people, they come in, they promote a program and they're out within three months and then the program's dead. There's no, there's nothing worse than having to invest something in something or even promote something, whereas you kind of already half know that unless you have a huge audience, you're not gonna benefit from it, period, right? When you generate evergreen products or create evergreen products, basically you need to create them in a way that they're gonna be evergreen and the people will promote them 
for years to come. The only reason why I, I say this is because there are people that don't want to create their products and that's perfectly fine. I've got a few more little tips and tricks about that as well. Um, however, when sort of when you only do affiliate marketing, you only do it if you don't want to create products, period, right? When you don't want to have the responsibility of, um, for example, billing and support, but however, when you have that, you also learn the trust and the authority with your audience, knowing that they're going to get the support as well with the product. Now, when they have that, they're going to keep buying from you as well, because one, they feel supported and they trust you. Obviously, if you want to do affiliate marketing, when you're promoting other people's products, and it's a quicker process to lose the lead, all right, because then those leads become customers of someone else's product, and their focus is primarily on that product and that vendor and being supported, right? So as an affiliate marketer, you will lose that lead. Yes, you'll get compensated for it, but you'll lose them, and it's unlikely they'll buy from you again. Obviously, you only earn X percent of the sale as well. So as if you're a vendor or you're a product creator, you take home 100% of the pie unless you are you have your own affiliate program in place, but you're basically reaping the efforts of other people, right? This is here, you're actually, when you actually, you actively have to promote the product in order to garner 10 to 40% commission rates, all right? Compared to 100% earnings on your own products when you want to promote them yourself. So when you're promoting it yourself, obviously you're gonna take 100% of the piece of the pie, right? As in, in consideration, you've got 10% and you've got 10 to, or even 10% in e-com or less, Amazon pays out pittance on the dollar because of their margins. MMO, like info, is generally anywhere between, depending on software, if it's software or info product, you're looking at 10 to 40%, period. Some go as high as 50, some even can go a little bit higher, but it's generally around this field, okay? What I'm saying with those that are interested in being able to create their own products, it's not as daunting as it seems. You, you know, you quickly sketch out your idea, you get it down on a piece of paper, and you just figure out, okay, what do people want to hear? Usually it's a series through like a series of simple videos explaining um, your content and how people can take action and be able to replicate that process as well. You know, there's a lot of people out there that want to have, they have an idea, but they just haven't implemented it yet. You know, a lot of people yearn, they want to create that product and they just don't know how to. So, and obviously you can get pure buyers that still refer multiple products and tools in just one product that are pure buyers, so you know they are good for it as well. So if you wanted to refer other tools and resources that you can't provide, for example, software like page builders or you know blog sites or uh, traffic sources or anything for that matter, you can actually incorporate that into your course and have a referral link. So when they actually go and take on action and they take action inside of that course, you can actually lace that, you know, put affiliate links in there. So you get it, you garner a commission when they start paying for that billable service. And essentially you are creating assets. Now when you create assets, you are basically allowing yourself to build a, a swarm of information that people can absorb and you can use that to leverage that down in the future. Okay, you can take small segments of it if you wanted to and do a YouTube video, you can do a whole range of stuff. I created a, pro a program called Breakout CEO. Now, this program is geared purely for people that want to create their own products and assets. They want to have full control. And then on top of that, they, we also teach you how to use email newsletters and leveraging targeted traffic as well. All right, and on, on top of that, we help you start out with low ticket offers which convert. We give you the templates and it allows you to take 100% of the pie home, right? Because the worst thing is that, you know, you, you take, if you don't do that, that just basically means that, you know, it's not really worth it. Like, in all honesty, like, if you're not taking 100, if you're not taking 100% of the pie, I think you're losing, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. Now, we also teach you how to build effective, effective affiliate base. So you can have people refer your products, whatever commission rate you believe is right for you and your business. It could be 30, could be 40, could be 50%. And you'll be rewarded for other people's efforts promoting your offers. We have a community that's going to, and, um, and on top of that, inside of our breakout community, you're going to be aligned with people that have the same values, goals, and results. All right. It doesn't matter what level you come at in. 
our goal is, and we have guys at like at, at a lower level and above average level, and our whole point is, is when people come in, they will literally, and, and if, for example, if they're on the below average level, they'll come in and we'll elevate them above that. So that's the purpose of this community. And you know, you hang out with other product creators and entrepreneurs as well, and you start building that. And on top of that, we've got, we've incentivized, you know, the community. So the more engagement it is, the people, more people share, they'll get rewarded for it because what that does, does that it helps people fast track their success rate and being able to get those conversions and start getting consistent sales and revenue in their business, okay? So how we generally go about it is the first step is that we go through the foundational affiliate program. So you garner an understanding about it, all right? Because you can't really manage affiliates if you don't actually have an understanding of an affiliate program or how to do it. And we talk about the mindset, we talk about affiliate marketing and offer promotions. Next, we usually go into the product creation fundamentals. Okay. So we give you the sales page templates, um, we give you membership templates and a few core structures to help flesh out your product ideas. This basically allows you to take something that you've been sort of yearning to create, move forward in the process to start making sales with that offer, okay, with that product and service. Now we give you obviously the necessary resources to make this possible with one simple system. And we also focus on email marketing, which is also incorporated within that one simple system. So you can have a follow-up series, basically boost profits, because we all know that with email marketing, if you don't do email marketing, you are leaving a ton of money on the table. Not everyone buys on the first try. A lot of people usually buy secondly, so you know, you usually take their information first and then they see the offer. You can follow up with them if they didn't buy. So we all show you how to do all those automations and segmentation. On top of that, we talk about free and paid traffic training and we've accumulated some amazing resources that will bring targeted free and buy traffic to your offers as well. And where you can fit this in within a niche. And then we also show you in terms of how to launch your own high ticket offer. So on top of that, you're bringing people into your circle on a lower ticket offer, but also we help you structure how to build a core offer that, that you can sell for like, you know, $1,000, $2,000, even $5,000. So this will allow you to, for example, like you can make two sales of $5,000, that's 10 grand within 30 days, within two sales, right? So that just allows you to really position yourself in the best possible way to really do that, all right? Now, if you guys are interested in the Breakout CEO program and you wanna get in touch with me, what I recommend you do is just go to hate, is to go to this website, breakout-ceo.com forward slash special. You go to that website and you'll also get the opportunity to either one, book a call, or two, if this is something that you're truly interested in and you wanna jump on, just uh, watch the simple, um, the, the instruction document that we have in there. Um, we outline everything that we go through what this product is geared towards and how we can help you achieve the outcome that you desire, which is basically one, being able to, for you to have your idea, bring your idea out into fruition in the marketplace so you can serve that across people and be able to really leverage this in a more sustainable, consistent manner. All right, so guys, um, like I said, if you guys have enjoyed this content, Please hit like and subscribe down below the breakout.co.com forward slash special. And I really look forward to you guys um, having a chat with you. I'm more than happy to just, uh, for example, take your information and I can send you a follow up series on what this course is about as well. So if you are keen on that, just go to this page, enter your email, you'll see the information, and I look forward to you guys talking to you guys um, shortly. Thank you very much and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers guys.